everyone, welcome back to the launch pad. We have a big announcement from the China National Space Administration and Roscosmos. The two nations have officially unveiled at the Global Space Exploration Conference their roadmap for the establishment of the International Lunar Research Station. In March, both Russia and China signed a memorandum of understanding, and just a number of months seem to have made a fair amount of progress. The International Lunar Research Station, or ILRS for short, will be established at the same time as the United States and the Artemis Accord nations are set to return to the moon. China and Russia just released a video explaining the three phases of development of the ILRS and gave us a 3D tour of what the station might look like. So let's take a first look at the first ever plans from any country for a permanent lunar station. The vast universe sparks the exploration dream of humankind. The moon has been endowed with endless reverie and good wishes since ancient times. We keep on exploring on the moon for thousands of years. We wonder where she comes from and where human will reach in the future. The moon is an important object for finding these ultimate answers. More than six decades ago, brave men began their exploration of the moon. This time, we come with greater courage, stronger determination, and more ambitious goals. We no longer satisfy with simple visits. We are here for the long-term exploration. The International Lunar Research Station makes these visions possible. It will give us a deeper understanding of the moon and help us find the answers. The ILRS is a comprehensive scientific experimental base on the lunar surface and or lunar orbit. It can realize long-term autonomous running for lunar exploration and utilization. The construction of ILRS will go through three phases of reconnaissance, construction, and utilization. Reconnaissance By 2025, we will have sent Chang'e 4, Chang'e 6, Chang'e 7, Luna 25, Luna 26, and Luna 27 to the moon. Through six missions, the moon will be jointly explored by virus detection forms. They include remote sensing, in-situ detection, and sample return. The site of scientific research station will be determined. Construction From 2026 to 2030, we will send Chang'e 8 and Luna 28 missions to conduct cooperative exploration, finishing technology verification of ILRS. From 2031 to 2035, the International Lunar Missions will be sent. It is to construct the command center, energy facilities, communication facilities, and lunar based scientific exploration facilities. It will also verify in situ utilization of resources and other common technology in deep space exploration. Utilization After 2036, the IAORS can be used for long term scientific exploration, technical validation, and resource utilization. It can also support short term human missions to the moon. Peace, development, cooperation, and mutual benefit are core concepts of ILRS and will be open to all interested countries and organizations that are willing to cooperate. More countries and regions will have a chance in exploring the moon, developing space technology, and inspiring younger generations. China National Space Administration and Roscosmos 
welcome more international partners. A lunar scientific research facility will be jointly built to benefit all mankind. That video gave us a great look at what the station may look like, very different from what many believe the U.S. stations will look like. The ILRS looks more like a station that crews will visit, but not always be stationed at. The location of the ILRS is yet to be decided, but as they showed in the video, they have narrowed it down to three areas, one of which is a South Pole location, similar to where the U.S. was looking. So many were saying we're already in a space race, but with today's announcement, we are truly entering a new era in space history. We now have two space coalitions, if you will, working towards establishing bases on the moon and then having dreams to go to Mars. Artemis is looking at sending crews in 2024 prior to building their station. Russia and China are going to build their base first and then send crews about a decade later. So lots of things can change and we will, of course, bring you all the IRLS and Artemis updates as they happen. An interesting part of today's announcement is the confirmation that international partners are openly invited to be part of the ILRS, and apparently a number of nations are already in talks with China and Russia. We have had confirmation that the European Space Agency and CNES of France have already had discussions. Thailand, Saudi Arabia, and UAE have also expressed an interest in the ILRS. Any conversations are very early stages, but with the Artemis Accords slowly expanding and more nations signing on, it'd be very interesting to see if nations will agree to both, because I would believe there would be a risk of kind of a conflict of interest with the sharing of the data required in the Artemis Accords. But maybe this will lead to Russia and China signing the Artemis Accords? Well, one can hope, right? Our guide to the Artemis Accords will be coming out later this week, so make sure you've subscribed and keep an eye out for that. Let me know what you think about the IRLS in the comments, any questions you have, the, the timeline, the location, or what it even is going to look like. This is Zach with TLP News, signing off.